you a build of the Commodore Pi. So what you're gonna need here is a Raspberry Pi, a Kira V2B, and a Commodore motherboard with the keyboard inserts and pins. What you're gonna do is secure the Kira into the board using screws to mount it. I'm gonna hot glue this to the board to keep it stable. Remember, no Commodore Commodore 64s uh, were hurt <laughs> during this video. This was an old Commodore that did not work and it was beyond repair. This is hot glued. I'm gonna insert the Kira V2 into the controller slots. Then using these small screws, I'm gonna secure it to the board. Secure it to the board. It should fit comfortably and leave enough space for the connectors if you want to do any more <clears throat> adaptations. So the next part, I'm gonna hook up the um, keyboard input to Kira by placing it to the last pins on the left. Now I'm going to secure the Commodore 64 by hot gluing it to the motherboard uh, bay area. And as you can see I added a um, PC fan in here to the last bolts to keep it cool and also have heat sinks to distribute the heat generated. And Right here, this is a modification. I 3D printed a USB, HDMI, and 3.5 millimeter audio jack slots to connect. So I'm going to hot glue it about right here. I recommend hot gluing the Raspberry Pi right here if you have a big case in order to make sure that this shuts all the way properly. This is the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and hot glue it right here. We're going to connect the Kira to the Raspberry Pi using this type of cable. And pardon, I do not know the name of this one yet. Two. I fa fastened the cable with hot glue to the motherboard so it doesn't shift around during transportation or use. And right now I'm using a PC fan to aid in the cooling process for the hot glue. Next, we are going to be connecting USB ports to the um, bank. Now I'm only adding one USB port because you can put um, a flash drive but you can always expand it if you have like a USB bus but for right now it would be drawing too much power so I'm just keeping it like that. And next um, HDMI port. Right now I do not have a, another adapter so I'm just gonna go straight into here through the, the old serial ports. After I hook up the HDMI cable on the power source, I'm going to reconnect the keyboard and we're going to boot this up. The operating system I'm using, I believe it's called Combian. It is a Commodore 64 emulator. So let me boot this up. As you see, it's powering on. There we go. As you can see, I can type. Everything works. And if it doesn't work, you need to download a new key map. Because as of now, some of the letters are off. So I'm going to have to redo the key map. And hopefully, I'll leave everything in the description. But thank you, YouTube. Have a great day.